Here today we have a 2013 Nissan Altima. About to change the computer. See the security light is on. Cranking it, no start. You can see they buy it on eBay. So you go to anti theft press yes. You go to replace operation. When performing key, register. And you read the steps, it said yes. It's calculating it. All right, you can see the security light went off. Hit next, 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 and end it. Now you turn it off, turn the key on. It blinked for five seconds, five times I mean. Okay, it's good, turn it off, turn it on. Blink five times again. That end programming mode. Turn it on. Now you start. All right, so now we are running. Okay, so now we turn it off, turn it on, and we exit out of this. Go into diagnostic, control unit, engine, and what we're going to do is write this VIN number to it. So we go to special function and we go to VIN registration. And this VIN here is different. So the original, that's the VIN on the used computer. So what we do is erase it. And we put it in now is now J N E A S D N A S five M V 5 M V 5 D W 1 O 9 2 4 1 So you go over that make sure that match J N 8 A S 5 M V 5 D W ten ninety two forty one and now you hit enter hit OK see you go to put the other VIN back so now you gotta pick the one you just put in forty one all right and then you hit OK and then it say command is complete you can see that's a new VIN has this one so now you exit, exit, and you go to ECU information, part numbers. So we exit, exit, exit out of this. And what you do is start a new session. Okay, you go back to Nissan, and you hit OK. And now you want to automatic read the VIN. Make sure it's the same as this. And it's done. And see now it's the same VIN. So this is done. Complete program. So that's how you do an engine computer swap on a Nissan Rogue.